Polestar 3 shatters EV range record with jaw-dropping 581-mile run. Did you know there's now an electric SUV that just crushed its official range rating by over 200 miles on a single charge? Comment below if you think you know which model pulled off this incredible feat. Welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to stop for everything electric vehicle related. Before we dive into today's electrifying story, this video is for educational and commentary purposes only, protected under fair use. Now, here's the deal. If we can hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours, we'll know the EVpedia family is as unstoppable as the record-breaking EV we're about to discuss. Let's see if we can make it happen. The electric vehicle landscape has seen many range claims, challenges, and tests over the years, but every so often, a breakthrough comes along that shakes the industry. This time, that breakthrough comes from the Polestar 3, a premium electric crossover SUV that just proved it can travel far beyond its official numbers. Recently, a completely stocked Polestar 3, equipped with its long-range battery and a single rear-mounted motor, set a new Guinness World Record for the longest distance traveled by an electric SUV on a single charge. This wasn't some lab test or closed course run either. It happened on public roads in the United Kingdom, under real driving conditions, with a team of skilled drivers. And when I say, long distance, I'm talking about an astonishing 581.3 miles, or 925.4 kilometers, all without plugging in. To put that into perspective, the EPA's official range rating for the Polestar 3 long-range single motor is just 350 miles. That means the vehicle went over 230 miles farther than its rated range, a feat that's not just impressive. It's game-changing for public perception of EV capabilities. The journey took a total of 22 hours and 57 minutes, which is almost a full day of driving. Of course, no single person could manage that marathon behind the wheel, so the team included three experienced efficiency drivers, Sam Clark, Kevin Booker, and Richard Parker. These aren't just casual EV enthusiasts. They're experts in maximizing vehicle efficiency. In fact, Sam Clark already had his name in the record books for the longest journey traveled by an electric motorcycle on a single charge. The record attempt was carefully planned to squeeze out every possible mile of range. The team set off at 2 a.m. to take advantage of quiet, open roads. Their route was chosen for its relatively flat terrain, sticking mainly to the Norfolk area in the UK. The goal was to minimize energy usage while maintaining a steady and safe pace. By the end of the run, the Polestar 3's trip computer showed an average speed of just 25.3 miles per hour, or 40.7 kilometers per hour. Now, you might think that sounds slow, but this was all about efficiency, not speed. And it worked. The average energy consumption came in at an incredible 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour, which is the equivalent of using just 19.5 kilowatt hours to travel 100 miles, or 12.1 kilowatt hours for every 100 kilometers. Those numbers are the kind of efficiency EV engineers dream about. It's important to note that this was a completely unmodified vehicle. The Polestar 3 used standard 20-inch wheels and Michelin Sport 4 EV tires, nothing special or custom-made for the record attempt. This wasn't a stripped-down concept car or a prototype. It was exactly the kind of SUV you could buy from a dealership. The entire event was overseen by Guinness World Records, with Judge Paulina Sapinska present to ensure everything met official standards. UK-based fleet management company Webfleet was also involved, collecting independent verification through video footage, GPS data, odometer readings, and battery state of charge tracking. All of these measures ensured there was no room for doubt. This was a legitimate, certified world record. Polestar CEO Michael Loscheller was understandably thrilled saying, we are very proud to say we have a world record holder in the Polestar family. This official Guinness world record for range is another proof point that Polestar 3 is setting new standards. We will continue to push the boundaries of technology and electric performance. The Polestar 3 itself is a highly capable machine. Built in Ridgeville, South Carolina, and Chengdu, China, the long-range single motor variant is powered by a rear-mounted motor producing 299 horsepower and 361 pound-feet of torque. The massive 107 kilowatt-hours usable battery, supplied by CATL, is key to its range. And when it's time to recharge, the vehicle supports DC fast charging at up to 250 kilowatts, meaning you can go from 10% to 80% battery in just 30 minutes under ideal conditions. 
This achievement isn't just about bragging rights. It's about showing the world that EVs can go farther than many skeptics believe, especially when driven with efficiency in mind. It also highlights the growing maturity of EV technology, where battery capacity, aerodynamics, and motor efficiency are coming together to produce truly impressive results. In real-world driving, most owners won't replicate this kind of range. After all, maintaining 25 miles per hour on perfectly flat roads isn't practical for everyday use. But it does prove that under the right conditions, there's more potential in modern EVs than their official ratings suggest. And that's a powerful message for consumers who may be on the fence about making the switch to electric. The record also adds prestige to Polestar's growing reputation as a performance-oriented, sustainability-focused brand. Competing with the likes of BMW's iX, Audi's Q8 e-tron, and Tesla's Model X, the Polestar 3 now has a world record to help set it apart in a crowded market. While some critics might dismiss the achievement as unrealistic, the fact remains. It was done with a production vehicle, on public roads, under independent verification. And in the world of EVs, perception is everything. A headline like, Polestar 3 travels 581 miles on a single charge, is bound to catch attention, spark conversations, and maybe even convince a few skeptics to take a closer look at electric driving. For Polestar, this is both a marketing win and a technical validation. It's proof that the company's engineering choices, battery chemistry, drivetrain efficiency, and aerodynamics can deliver real results in the hands of skilled drivers. And for the EV community at large, it's another example of just how far the technology has come in a short time. It's worth remembering that not too long ago, an electric vehicle with a 200-mile range was considered impressive. Now we have production SUVs capable of nearly triple that under the right conditions. The pace of progress in EV technology is nothing short of remarkable, and records like this are a sign of what's still to come. As for what's next for Polestar, this record will likely serve as a benchmark for future developments. With ongoing advancements in battery density, charging speeds, and energy management software, it's entirely possible that the next few years will see even higher numbers, and not just in controlled tests, but in real-world driving. So, the next time someone tells you EVs can't go the distance, you can point them to this achievement. It's a reminder that range anxiety is becoming less about what the car can do and more about how we choose to drive it. The answer to the question at the start? It was indeed the Polestar 3. Personally, I think this achievement is more than just a world record. It's a statement about where the EV industry is heading. What's your take? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And here's a quick fact for you. Did you know that in the early 1900s, electric cars actually outsold gasoline cars in the United States? It wasn't until mass production of cheaper gas-powered vehicles took over that EVs faded into the background. Until now, when they're making a major comeback. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments together. The road ahead is electric, and we want you along for the ride.